What's good guys, welcome back to the first take I'm at race and today we're gonna check out a request from someone who I've forgotten the name. I didn't write it down. Ah, ah, yes, bad bad me. But they want me to check out the War and Peace trailer. Apparently BBC are making a sounds like an adaptation of that massive encyclopedia impossible to film book called War and Peace, the same name. I remember this as a kid in school. Attempting to read it a few times and just it was too much. It was too fucking big, man. You pick it up and you pull a muscle and you dislocate your shoulder. It was too much to read. Too much. Come on for a little kid. So let's see if they've done the near impossible. You seem to have the gift of happiness. Lily James is in this apparently. So. Don't we all have it? Yeah. Somewhere within us. I've never experienced anything like it before. <laughs> you are Count Bezukov now. Oh that guy. It is for the young ladies to make themselves pleasing oh, to you now. Julia! Was it right to you? Not a bit. I love it. That's what the hell of a cost they got, man. I'm in love with you. Jeez, that's beautiful. I challenge you! Shadow of war. Can young life shine? This is your future. Epic new drama. War and peace. Coming soon. Well, that was a bit quick. I cut that too soon. That looked friggin' epic. Epic doesn't even You know what it looks like? It looks like um Did you guys see the Kira Knightley movie that came out about oh, three, four years ago? Uh Anna Karenina. Movie which had a lot of thoughts mainly in the script, but visually it was just sumptuous, it was a beautiful movie. But yeah, it had a lot of faults, it, yeah, it didn't really kind of gel together as a, a cohesive cinematic experience, but like I said, visually it just looked amazing, and this has a certain flavour of that. And that's really impressed me, that's like one hell of a cast, a really solid cast, the sets look amazing. I like it when actors and actresses who are on the up there Lily James is at the point now where she's crossing over into films she's got the prior prisoners and zombies coming she already had Cinderella which was a hit a big hit and I uh, think I'm not sure there was another movie coming that she's got which I'm blanking on but yeah she's doing it now on the motion screen on the big screen yeah I like it when those actors aren't so egotistical that they can't go back and do TV they kind of value the quality of a script and the story and the people making it and they kind of bounce back and forth. I like that. I kind of like it. You've seen it more and more nowadays as, you know, as we're in the golden age of TV. What about you guys? Have you read War and Peace? Some of you got her. Let me know, man. Write comments down below. Is it a good story? Can it be adapted in your view? I think for TV, anything can really be adapted. It's more of a people trying to do it for film. That's where things get a bit too, because you're confined. That two hour period is just not nowhere near good enough or big enough. But uh, yeah, let me know guys, write comments down below if you like the video, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, I am Ed Reese and this has been my first take, the BBC's War and Peace.